a world where it rains molten glass sideways at 4,500 miles per hour, a planet being slowly eaten by its star. How about a diamond world covered in lava oceans? Sounds like sci-fi, right? Well, these aren't movie plots. They're real places out there in our galaxy. We're talking about some of the most bizarre planets ever discovered, and they make our solar system look downright boring. Today, we're diving into the weirdest corners of our universe to explore planets that'll blow your mind. They're windows into the incredible diversity of worlds out there, and they're pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. But before we blast off, a quick word from our affiliate. Are you a content creator looking to elevate your creative process or streamline your work? Then you can't miss out on this. Imagine being able to clone your voice or create ultra-realistic AI speech, cutting down those long hours of recording yourself or offering an option for those who are camera shy but have always dreamed of making content. You can generate natural sounding voices in over 30 languages. It can truly transform how you create. So make sure to check it out at the link in the description. All right, let's start our cosmic tour with a planet straight out of your worst weather nightmares. Imagine that you're floating above a deep blue world. It looks almost like Earth from a distance. But as you get closer, you realize this is no paradise. Welcome to HD 189733b, the glass rain planet. This hot Jupiter orbits its star in just 2.2 days. That's 13 times closer than Mercury is to our sun. The result? Temperatures reach a scorching 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's not the heat that makes this planet truly terrifying. It's the weather. Winds howl across the surface 253 miles per hour. That's seven times the speed of sound. For comparison, the strongest winds ever recorded on Earth were just 253 MEF. And that deep blue color, it's not coming from oceans. It's caused by light scattering through a hazy atmosphere filled with silicate particles. In other words, glass. Now here's where it gets really wild. When it rains on HD 189733b, it rains molten glass, sideways. That is trillions of microscopic shards of glass heated to 18800 degrees, flying through the air faster than a bullet. It's like the planet is caught in an eternal, hellish sandstorm. Despite being one of the most hostile environments we've ever discovered, HD 189733b is also one of the best studied planets outside our solar system. Why? Because it's relatively close, only 63 light years away, and it passes in front of its star from our perspective, allowing us to study its atmosphere in detail. Scientists have detected water vapor, oxygen, and even methane on HD 189733b, which brings up a fascinating question. If a planet this extreme can have some of the basic ingredients for life, what other seemingly impossible places might harbor the potential for living things? From rain of glass, let's move to a planet with an even more dramatic fate. Meet WASP-12b, the planet being eaten by its star. WASP-12b is another hot Jupiter, but it takes our definition of hot to a whole new level. This planet orbits so close to its star that its year lasts just 26 hours. Let that sink in. While you're going through a normal Earth day, WASP-12b has completed an entire orbit around its sun. But this extreme proximity has some consequences. First, the planet is heated to about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt titanium. But it gets weirder. The star's gravity is so strong that it's literally pulling WASP-12b apart. The planet is stretched into an egg shape with a massive tail of gas streaming behind it. This gas is being stripped away from the planet and falling onto the star. 
It's like watching a cosmic version of a black hole's accretion disk, but with a planet instead of a star being devoured. Scientists estimate that WASP-12b is losing mass at a rate of 189 quintillion tons per year. That's 189 followed by 18 zeros. At this rate, the planet only has about 10 million years left before it's completely consumed. It's a blink of an eye in cosmic terms. WASP-12b gives us a front row seat to a process that might be common in the universe, but rarely observed, the death of a planet, in case you've forgotten the violent nature of the cosmos. So it makes us wonder, how many planets have been devoured by their stars? Could this fate await other worlds, maybe even in our own solar system, billions of years from now? Now, in a more positive way, let's go from destruction to creation on a truly grand scale. Our next stop is 55 Cancri E, also known as the Diamond Planet. Yep, a planet made of diamond, well, partly at least. 55 Cancri E is what astronomers call a super-Earth. It's about twice the size of our planet, but eight times as massive. And it orbits its star in just 18 hours. But that's not the interesting part. Based on the planet's mass, radius, and the composition of its star, scientists think up to a third of 55 Cancri E could be made of diamond. How is this possible? Well, it all comes down to chemistry and extreme conditions. The planet's surface is a scorching 3,900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt most rocks. But under this molten surface, intense pressure could crystallize carbon into diamond. So here, you could have mountains and rivers of liquid diamond flowing over beds of solid diamond. But before you start planning your interstellar mining operation, there are a few catches. First, 55 Cancri E is 40 light years away. With our current technology, it would take hundreds of thousands of years to get there. Second, remember those extreme temperatures? Yeah, not exactly a hospitable place for humans or our mining equipment. And third, we're not 100% sure about the diamond composition. It's our best guess based on the data we have but we can't directly observe the planet's interior. Still, 55 Cancri E almost feels like something straight out of a science fiction movie. And it's amazing what the universe is capable of creating. From diamonds, let's dive into something a bit more familiar. Water. But the thing is, there's nothing ordinary about our next planet. Meet GJ 1214b, the water world. Now, when I say water world, I don't mean a planet with oceans like Earth. I mean a planet that might be almost entirely water. GJ12 Mwafol B is another super-Earth, about 2.7 times the size of our planet. It orbits a red dwarf star about 40 light years away. And it's become one of the most studied exoplanets for a simple reason. It might be our best chance to understand a completely new class of planet. You see, GJ12 and Fawn B doesn't fit neatly into any of our existing categories. It's too big to be a rocky planet like Earth, but too small to be a gas giant like Jupiter. Instead, it seems to be something in between, what astronomers call an ocean planet. To give you an idea, here's what we think GJ1214b might look like. Imagine a massive ball of water, much bigger than Earth. At the very center, there's probably a small rocky core. But everything above that? Water. Lots and lots of water. But this isn't water as we know it. As you go deeper into the planet, the pressure becomes so intense that water takes on exotic forms. There could be layers of hot ice. Water that's solid, despite being hundreds of degrees hot, simply because of the crushing pressure. And the surface? Well, GJ1214b is close enough to its star that surface temperatures are around 450 degrees Fahrenheit. 
that's way too hot for liquid water. Instead, the planet is probably surrounded by a thick layer of steam. So, now imagine an atmosphere made almost entirely of water vapor, so thick and hot that it blurs the line between gas and liquid. It's like being inside a pressure cooker the size of a planet. This steam atmosphere creates a major challenge for scientists trying to study GJ 12 and 14b. It's so thick that it obscures our view of the lower atmosphere and surface. It's like trying to see through a dense fog. But recently, the James Webb Space Telescope gave us our clearest look yet at GJ 1214b. And guess what it found? More evidence for water. The JWST detected a big temperature swing between the planet's day and night sides. This suggests an atmosphere made of heavier molecules like water rather than light gases like hydrogen. GJ1214b is a type of world we don't have in our solar system, but which might be common in the galaxy. Plus, we've always been taught that where there's water, there could be life. Could life exist in the deep oceans of a water world, protected from the hostile surface by layers of exotic water? It's a tantalizing possibility. Now let's move from water to rock, a whole lot of rock. Our next stop is Kepler-10c nicknamed the Mega Earth. And for a reason, Kepler-10c is huge. It's 2.35 times the size of Earth, but it's 17 times more massive. That makes it almost twice as dense as Earth. When astronomers first discovered Kepler-10c, they were stunned. According to our theories of planet formation, a world this big shouldn't be rocky. It should have enough gravity to hold on to a thick atmosphere of hydrogen and helium, becoming a gas giant like Neptune. But Kepler-10c defied those expectations. It's a solid, rocky world, just on a scale we never thought possible. To understand how weird this is, let's do a quick thought experiment. Imagine you could stand on the surface of Kepler-10c. The gravity would be crushing about three times stronger than Earth's. Every step would feel like you're carrying two people on your back, and that's assuming you could even reach the surface. Remember, this planet is 17 times more massive than Earth. That means 17 times more rock, metal, and other heavy elements concentrated in a ball just over twice Earth's size. The internal pressure must be unimaginable. The planet's core is probably compressed to densities we can barely comprehend. But if you think that's amazing, wait until you hear this. Its very existence challenges our understanding of the early universe. You see, Kepler-10c is old, really old. It formed about 11 billion years ago, less than 3 billion years after the Big Bang. But according to our theories, the early universe shouldn't have had enough heavy elements to form a planet this big and rocky. So either our theories about planet formation are wrong, or the early universe was capable of producing heavy elements faster than we thought. What could the right answer be? We don't know yet. So, yeah, this could throw years of research right out the window. And it raises another intriguing possibility. If rocky super-Earths could form this early in the universe's history, could life have gotten a head start on these ancient worlds? Could there be civilizations out there billions of years older than ours? Mmm, looks like we still have a lot to learn about the incredible diversity of worlds out there. For our next stop, let's look at a planet that breaks all the rules, HD 106906b. At first glance, HD 106906b seems like many other gas giants we've discovered. It's about 11 times the mass of Jupiter, orbiting a pair of bright young stars. But there's something very, very strange about this planet, its orbit. HD 106906b is incredibly far from its stars, about 730 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. That's about 18 times farther out than Pluto, 
and it gets weirder. The planet's orbit is highly elongated and tilted at a crazy angle compared to the disk of debris around its stars. In other words, HD 106906b is barely hanging onto its solar system. It's so far out and its orbit is so weird that it's acting almost like a rogue planet, a world untethered to any star, drifting alone through the galaxy. So how did HD 106906b end up in this bizarre situation? Well, that's the million dollar question, and it's got astronomers scratching their heads. One theory is that the planet formed much closer to its stars, like a normal gas giant. But then something, maybe an interaction with another planet, kicked it out to the edges of the solar system. Once out there, HD 106906b's orbit might have been stabilized by the gravitational pull of passing stars, preventing it from escaping the system entirely. If this sounds familiar, it's because astronomers think something similar might have happened in our own solar system. There's growing evidence for a possible Planet 9 lurking in the outer reaches of our solar system, influencing the orbits of distant objects beyond Neptune. Either way, HD 106906b gives us a glimpse of what Planet 9 might look like if it exists. It's like we have a time machine showing us what our solar system might have been like billions of years ago when things were more chaotic and planets were still settling into their final orbits. But it also shows us how dynamic and unpredictable planetary systems can be. So, we shouldn't get too comfortable with what we thought we knew and should keep searching for new ways to explore these dark and bizarre worlds. From glass rain and diamond mountains to water worlds and mega-Earths. We've seen that the universe is capable of creating planets far stranger than anything in our solar system. Did you think they were just mere curiosities? Well, they're not. Every crazy planet we discover challenges what we thought we knew and makes us rewrite all the theories we once believed were spot on. And that's a good thing because it allows us to keep expanding our ideas about where life might be possible in the universe. As we look up at the night sky, remember that among those countless pinpricks of light, there are worlds out there that would blow your mind, and we're just beginning to discover them. If you enjoyed this cosmic travel, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos that explore the wonders of our universe. And let me know in the comments, which of these bizarre planets fascinated you the most? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.